Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have this is just one of the over 200 free math games we have to play. We also have fun, logic, and puzzle games to play. Uh, they're all free. No membership. Sign up is required. Okay, let's get go to the. Uh, this is going to give you a quick overview of Math Save the Lambs, how to play. When you first start up, this is a screen you'll see. If you want to see what the high scores currently are, click the top scores. You will see uh, the high scores, and they're uh, cleared out every month. Actually, I clicked it twice, so it showed up twice. And uh, the walkthrough, if you click the walkthrough button, it'll take you to this video. The instructions will give you an overview of the instructions. And let's go ahead and click play to get to the game. So when you play the game, the object is to keep the wolves from getting to the lambs over here. And the way you do that is you capture them by making math equations. Our problems. So you can either play with using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or uh, any of the, uh, the those operations. So let's go ahead and, and uh, look at the board. I'm going to go ahead and set a trap for this wolf here. And I'm going to cl click 5 plus 4. And once I hit equals, it turns all the 9s on the boards into uh, traps that will capture the wolves and uh, keep them from getting to the lambs. So I can, you notice that one went away. Uh, I need to go ahead and I'll go ahead and set a trap here for 6 and let's do 6 plus 0 equals 6. Now if you notice the last four numbers I used are grayed out and that means I cannot use those numbers but uh, once I use another, another number then that one will gray out and the, la the fourth one that I used previously will uh, be usable again. So as we keep going along, I can go ahead and say, let's go ahead and get 8. So 9 minus 1. As you notice, I click the 1, another number activates. So there's always 4 that you can't use. And as you keep playing, you'll notice that some of the numbers get larger. And let's go ahead and see if we can make uh, the number 80. So let's do 72 plus 8 equals 80. So that's how you play the game, and uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you have fun with it, and thanks for watching.